Here in the East Midlands, former BBC weatherman Des Coleman is cleared of firearms offences. And a simple optical illusion that could be a drug-free treatment for arthritis. Our well, thanks to George. This is East Midlands Today with Kylie Pentelow and me, Dominic Heal. Our top story tonight, Des didn't do it. Des Coleman's defence team at Huntingdon Crown Court argued there had been incompetence and serious negligence throughout the inquiry against him. I do apologise, we've had a slight technical hitch there. Let's uh, continue with tonight's top story, and that is that a judge has told Des Coleman that he can walk away from court without a stain on his character after all charges of road rage against him were dropped. The former East Midlands Today weatherman had been accused of pulling a gun on the occupants of a car on the M1. The judge said the Crown Prosecution Service had been negligent for not checking sooner the previous convictions of the couple who'd made the allegations. Here's our chief news reporter, Quentin Rayner. Des Coleman's defence team at Huntingdon Crown Court argued there had been incompetence and serious negligence throughout the inquiry against him. The former EastEnders actor and BBC weatherman had denied two charges of possessing an imitation firearm with intent to cause fear or violence. Two other assault charges were also dropped. It had been alleged that he'd driven alongside a car on the M1 last May and fired a gun at a car driven by Darren Hunter, which was also carrying his partner Laura Coleman and their young son. The case was dropped because previous convictions weren't checked at an early stage, which undermined the credibility of the key witnesses. Darren Hunter had a number of road rage convictions, including threatening one motorist with a knife. The couple had Googled Des Coleman's name from his personalised number plate prior to a police ID parade. And they tried to sell the story to The Sun days after the alleged incident. Facing seven years, you know, in prison uh, from a story that's completely fabricated from someone who wanted to extort money from you, you know, uh, relief. I'm relieved. I'm also annoyed that it's taken so long when there were, you know, basic steps that the CPS could have taken that just wouldn't have seen me in this position. I've, obviously, I've lost an awful lot. Des Coleman was sacked last month from his job as weatherman on BBC East Midlands Today after making this comment during a live forecast in February. We, we've got a bit of a rogue tent. That isn't going to happen uh, over the course of tonight. I'll change that for tonight's forecast. It just goes to show you cannot believe everything you see or read. Let's the BBC understood that to be a clear reference to the impending court case and dismissed him for a serious on-air breach of editorial guidelines. I agree with the boss's decision, you know, um, it was an unfortunate comment and it seen me lose my job. I've got a smile in my heart, I've got a positive attitude, I'll move forward. The judge said Des Coleman had been completely exonerated, but he criticised a lack of elementary policing and prosecution competence and said the CPS had been negligent and he was deeply insulted their lawyer wasn't in court to explain. Quentin Rain of East Midlands Today, Huntington Crown Court. Well, the Crown Prosecution Service has released a statement uh, saying it had made exhaustive inquiries regarding the credibility and reliability of the evidence. Material was identified which undermined the case and it decided there was no realistic prospect of obtaining a conviction. But the judge at Huntingdon Crown Court has ordered that a transcript of today's hearing be sent to the Director of Public Prosecutions.